how to manage software running on my edge devices with Portainer. And this is one thing I love about Portainer because it's actually fun to manage edge devices with Portainer. It's so easy and it's, it's so efficient. It's quite amazing. Right, so let me show you how it works. As you can see, I have six endpoints of which four are edge devices. And this is a symbol for the edge devices connected to Portainer by the edge agent. And they're running, um, um, they're actually Docker standalone edge devices that are running in my network. Okay. So the first thing I need to do is enable the edge compute features of Portainer. So when I go to settings, I can click on enable edge compute features. And you will see that right away, we have a new menu here to the left hand side of Portainer that is divided in three groups or three options. The first one is the edge group, edge stats, and edge jobs. We're going to concentrate on the edge groups and the edge stats. Edge jobs is still a beta feature. So I won't demonstrate this here, but for the purpose of this um, demonstration, edge groups and edge stats is what really matters. Okay, so let's start by organizing our edge devices. And why is that important? Because with Portainer, you can manage up to 25,000 edge devices with one single instance. Yes, 25,000. That's a lot of IoT or edge devices in your network for uh, an instance to manage. So you need to organize this somehow. And the way to do it is with groups. When I create an edge device, I associate paths to the creation of the edge device in, as an environment. So for instance, if I go here in environments, this edge device was added with a specific web server path. So on and so forth for all the other edge devices. Okay, so back to the edge group. I'm going to add an edge group, and I'm going to call it web server. And it can be either static or dynamic. Well, static is basically clicking on the name of the edge device and adding it to the group, or dynamic. If it's a partial match, it has to have the tag. But in this case, I want to have uh, edge devices with a web server tag. If it's a full match, it also has to have the um, tag web server and database. As you can see, these are two tags, and it excluded all the other edge devices that did not have also the database tag on it. So it either matches all the tags, or if you want a partial matching of the groups, whatever two tags are available on this criteria. But I don't want, in this case, any edge devices that are running databases. Right, but here I have one that has both. So well, I'll just add them to the group because this is what I need. Okay, and I want to add another edge group called database. Same thing. The criteria is any edge device that has a database tag. And in this case, it's edge 3 and edge 4. Right. So is this right? Yes, it is. Because I have three machines, three edge devices that I've tagged as web servers. And two machines or edge devices that I have tagged as database machines. Okay. Right. So now we've organized our edge devices. Now we're going to start deploying software. And the way to do it is via a stack. So in this case, these are uh, Docker machines. So I'm going to use Docker Compose. So the, for the machines running the web server tag, or this uh, web, actually I'm going to call it caddy because that's what I'm going to run on these. I'm going to add a Docker Compose file that is basically caddy. Very simple. And what I do is I give it a name. I select the edge groups, I type in, or I can upload, or I can connect this to the to a Git repository, or use a template. But I, in this case, I'm writing down here in the web editor the Docker Compose file, and I'm deploying the stack. And here I have a status of this deployment on each of the nodes. Three uh, devices have acknowledged the Docker Compose. Two, already, two have um, deployed already the Docker Compose. One is still acknowledging the Docker Compose. And finally, all three of them are running Caddy. If anything goes wrong, I'll see here in red that um, an X amount of Edge devices didn't uh, receive the Docker Compose properly and did not work. So here I have a visual status of this stack deployment. And that's it. That's how easy it is. So now I'm going to connect to this Edge device to check if the deployment was successful. 
I go to, let's say, containers. And there you go. Edge caddy caddy. Okay. So it's running properly. I click here on this port. I'll see that Edge is running properly. This is the IP address of the Edge device. The caddy is running port 8080 as it's specified on the uh, Edge stack. Okay, but now I want to deploy a MySQL database. Same concept. I add in stack, I'm gonna call this MySQL. But in this case, I want to deploy this on the Edge devices tag as a database. What I do is I'm gonna copy a compose file here that I have for MySQL. Simple deployment. Click on deploy. And here we can see the status of this deployment. Do have acknowledged? I have two machines on this edge group. Okay, now I see that one of the edge devices has already deployed successfully in my SQL database. Let's refresh here just once more. Now my other two edge devices tag as database have successfully deployed my SQL. Let's check it out. And now we're going to check versus Edge 4 that has two tags, web server and database. Check how that is going. Click here on containers. And as, as you can see, we have both Edge MySQL and Edge uh, Caddy running on this Edge device. Nice. Now let's go to this um, Edge group again. I'm going to uh, open the database group and I'm going to change this slightly. I'm going to static, and I'm going to add edge2 to this database group. Let's see what happens. Go to edge stacks, and as you can see, Fortina already identified that this edge device did not have the MySQL database deployed, and it's starting the deployment on this machine that was tagged with database. So you can dynamically deploy software on Fortina edge devices just by managing properly the edge devices in your edge groups. Because I changed that edge device to group database with a database tag, Pretender identified that it needed to deploy the MySQL stack on that edge device that was missing that container. Okay then, I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. Thank you very much.